Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of The Couch. Today we're going to be talking about one of the items from the Christmas list you may have saw a couple episodes back. Uh, today we're talking about the Gary Fong Light Sphere. Here it is. So let's get ready for episode 8 of The Couch. All right, so Tim, uh, this is the Gary Fong Light Sphere. This is it. Do um, you want to tell us a little bit of, about it? Yeah, let's let's show them what it comes in. Uh, you get this little box, so it's like that, and they give you a little uh, quick start guide. So you get your box. This is not an unboxing video. No, it's not. Don't... No, but it's uh, a reboxing. Reboxing, unboxing. unboxing. Yeah. So uh, you get your uh, Light Sphere. And they also give you a little quick start guide, which looks like that. So these are just basically some of the yeah, some tips and tricks, basic options you can do with the light sphere. Yeah, and uh, let's put this down. All right, so um, all right, so what you have is here's your light sphere, right? And it comes with a little cap, which we'll talk about in a second. This comes off. And it doubles as a cereal bowl. It does, yeah. It's nice. It's very nice feature. And um, little strap. This just attaches to your speed light. And you have this fancy rubber band. Yeah. That you might be able to see here that comes with it that attaches. Yep. So let's go ahead and put it on there. And we'll show them. Now you're probably wondering why we're why I bought this thing or why I got it for Christmas and what it does. Uh, the light sphere is basically a way to. Um, it's a light diffuser, essentially. Right. Um, so you get a, a more a, a more even light out of your flash. That's kind of the goal. Well, so. yeah, this this kind of throws your light in all directions. So instead of it takes some of the guesswork out of doing bounce flashing because yeah. this is going to bounce it off the wall behind you, beside you, behind your subject, off the ceiling, the whole nine yards. Yeah. So it's better than I would say we've done some tests here. Uh, it's better than. Uh, It's better than, than this. Right. Yeah. Because the, you get yeah, all, yeah. all direct. Right. So let's, um, we did some test shots. I took some shots at home, and um, we did some shots here in the studio. So let's take a look at what we did. And we'll take a look first at uh, some shots of my cat. Um, this is a shot of Tabasco uh, with the cap off. And Tabasco is your cat's name. Yes, not it's condiment. not a picture of Tabasco. It's a picture of Tabasco the cat. Right. Yeah. So this is uh, no cap. Okay. Here's and by shot. cap. Oh, right. Again, we're talking we're, about the we're cereal bowl about, of it. Right, the cereal bowl right. the, that fits on top. Yes, right. so this is a picture of Tabasco with no cereal bowl on top. Uh, and this is a picture of him with the cereal bowl on top. Right. Now, if you look at these things, let's go back. Uh, we've actually found that using the cap, um, I'd say 90% of the time you're not going to use that cap because... Right. Actually, I haven't found a use for it yet <laughs> because every shot we've taken has been the cap makes things a lot brighter than they need to be. Well, it seems to. Well, what I think, I think the reasoning for that is the cap is concave into... The, the actual sphere itself. Yeah. So what that does is it actually helps push more light out through the actual sides of this. And um, when you're getting more light out, out through there, you, you probably should readjust um, like your aperture and so forth. But it, it tends to make the um, image a little more... A little more flat, yeah. Because you're yeah. you're really shoving some harsh light out there, yeah. as opposed to when you take the cap off, it's not quite as condensed. It's not you're not getting bouncing off of this back into the bowl, which yeah, comes which out the comes side. Out, yeah. It it kind of lessens the power of the flash almost yeah. um, in a way. So yeah, through testing, we've noticed that we kind of prefer it without the li without the, um, the cereal bowl, the cereal bowl on top, the dome. <laughs> right. But um, now our testing doesn't include. Things like outside shots in the day, you know, the daylight or anything like that. Yeah. So, you know, to to overcome something as as bright as say, for example, the sun, you may need that extra boost. Plus, there's no ceiling when you're outside yeah, to bounce yeah. off of. That's true. Um, you might as well condense that and throw it out against your subject as much as you can. Yeah, so. These are all shots indoors. So. Right. Yeah. Um, let's look at that again. So. And it is like 12 degrees outside. Yeah, I'm not going out there right now. Um, so yeah, so 
Uh, no cap. Cap, you can see the difference there. Now, we did some shots uh, in the studio as well. Um, I stood against the background, and, and Bobby shot some shots of me. And um, let's take a look. So this is a shot. Um, that's me against the background with uh, no cap. Right. Okay. Next one is... This is with the bounce card. Right. And this is with the cap on. So, right. All right, so the difference is here, they're really kind of subtle at first if you look, but um, with the cap on, if you look behind me, there's a shadow. And, and again, that's because you're condensing the light that would generally be coming out the top and pushing right. it out the sides a little bit more. Exactly. So it makes those shadows a little bit darker, just a hair. Yeah. yeah. Now you look at the one without the cap, there's actually, I don't see a shadow at all. Right. Maybe a hair of a maybe. halo, maybe. Maybe, yeah, but... But the the biggest thing, really, is in the eyes, and that's really not that big of a difference either. Yeah. It's, it's really uh, the difference between that shadow uh, that, that's going to show up in the background. And of course, yeah. you can always do different things to pull your subject away from you the could, background yeah. further or whatever. Yeah. But we're, we're thinking of situations where you're in a time constraint and the, um, your subject... Something like at a wedding or something. Yeah, a wedding. You're, you're, yeah. In the middle of a wedding, you can't stop the ceremony right. and say, hey, can you move over here a little bit right. further or whatever it is. Yeah. So this way, you just uh, pop that cap off and it kind of pulls that down a little bit. Yeah. Right. And you look at the shot of um, with the bounce card. The bounce card, you get kind of the same effect. You don't get that shadowing on the background, but the light is very it's much, harsh. much more harsh. It's not as soft and it's not going to be as elegant. You know, for something like a wedding. Yeah. Maybe if you're doing fashion photography or something where you want a really harsh, you know, key lights and yeah. so forth, you know, you're not going to want to use this. But if you're trying to get something um, really nice and soft and the position of your subject and so forth is limited, yeah, this thing seems to be the way to go minus yeah, the cereal bowl. Yes. And you look at the bounce card shot, look at the shadow underneath, you know, here's a shadow mm -hmm. here, and you look at it... Um, without the cap. Right, it's much more consistent. Yeah. Also, the lighting is um, a little more even, I think, on my face with a... Um, well, and if you look on down further on your shirt, it seems to be a little more even, too. Yeah. You don't get quite so much uh, heat down there. Yeah, it's subtle, but it's, it's definitely a difference. Right. Yeah. yeah. So but again, like we said in the Christmas episode... This thing's only thirty dollars. Yeah, it's thirty bucks. So why? Not, I mean, it's not a real big item. Why not just chuck, you know, chuck this in your yeah. bag? And again, if you need something to eat out of, that's right. You got that. Cereal. There's also they they um they have um what's that called? There's the chrome dome. Oh, the chrome dome. Yeah. So that basically uh, that's all in the back on here. They yeah. actually yeah they have this um on their uh, reference card. Yeah. <laughs> Next one to the bottom it says, use the chrome dome, which I guess technically that's pretty much a different cereal bowl with chrome. Well, it's this, the, this is actually clear. What's well, clear? I think the... Um... No, see, it's a chrome. Oh, it it's is. Oh, chrome yeah, top. Yeah, right. Never mind. So okay. basically, I think, yeah, you just get a, um, a different one of these because also they show a, um, an amber yeah. uh, cap for this as well yeah. for getting uh, lighting outside. But, yeah, so there's a couple different options you can get for this, the chrome dome, and it seems like that's more for, like, a huge room yeah. that's going to really emphasize your light a little bit better. Yeah. But we haven't got the test with that. We only have uh, the one that came with. But it seems so far for $30 to be a great product yeah. to have in your bag. <clears throat> Simple to attach. It fits on, as far as I know, all flashes. It's pretty much universal. Yes, it's universal, yeah. Uh, with this adjustable strap, so. Yeah. And these are flexible little... Yeah, little arms, yeah. so it's yeah. a pretty cool product. I haven't, well, you know, we'll do some more testing and yeah. it shows some more examples, but uh, so far I think this is, was a was an awesome Present. gift idea. Yeah, absolutely. And then you have uh, one other thing you wanted yeah, to show Yeah, I do. Here. I got from uh, Photo Jojo, my wife got me the Photo Rito, <laughs> which comes in a nice burrito-looking bag. Right. Just like you'd get it. And, uh, yeah, just like you get like. Uh huh. Yeah, and then you open this up. And what this is actually is. It's a burrito. It's a burrito, yeah. A mail it's order burrito. Burrito. No, it actually is a. Uh, it's a lens holder. So you unroll this burrito. And it's kind of got a springy. Yeah, it's got it's got this strap. If you I don't know, if if people remember the um, the wristbands. 
Remember the metal wristbands that yeah, the kids yeah, used to have? Yeah. The, slap, the slap band? Yeah, it's like It's kind of got a thing like that in there. Yeah, so you... Kind of holds it your, open, so it's got these... You take your lens. And then you right just there. do the thing. Like that. Is that right? Or I do don't you? know. <laughs> Here, I'll let you wrap it up. Yeah, let's try that. I think maybe you should wrap the other sides first. Yeah, I guess the idea is to do like this. There was no reference guide with the burrito. No, no, they just kind of give you this. But now your there lens you go. is wrapped in a handy dandy burrito. Yeah. For and this way, uh, you can leave this sitting on top of your bag, and hopefully, no one will steal it because it looks like a gross, yeah, greasy burrito. It does look like a greasy, gross burrito. But then again, if you're hungry, maybe someone would steal they it. Might, and yeah. Disappoint. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. Oh so yeah, it's that's a neat little. Yeah. It's one of those things. Photo Jojo is a website that has all kinds of kind of quirky photography and other just cool things. Uh, photography you know, type gear. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, guys, that's about it for this episode. We just wanted to kind of get back with you on uh, on this uh, list here and some of the products that we got to pick up and, and try out recently. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, as always, leave them in the comments below. Yeah, we'll leave links to the, the products, too, in the, the yeah. comments. Yeah, so you exactly. Can check those out. Yep. So, uh, all, all right, right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.